Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to have a look at how to create a PST file. So what you can see on the left hand side of my screen is this PST file called Migration. So a PST file is an additional to your normal data files and you can save these PST files wherever you want. And if you move your Outlook account, you can just copy and reattach the PST file wherever and whenever you want. And as a PST file, you can see there, I've created lots of subfolders on it. So it's just a case of like it would be on your inbox. You just create new folder and then you just type whatever your folder name is and it sits in the list underneath your PST file. Now, how to create one? First of all, you need to go to file, account settings, account settings, and then data files. You can see I've got quite a lot there stored on um, my OneDrive, but some are stored elsewhere. All you do to create a new one is you click on Add, and then you can see the ones I've got there that sit on my C drive. I'll just call this Testing, and then OK that. And then it sits with the rest of them down the bottom there. I've got this one as my default one. And then if I click, click close on this one and then scroll to the bottom of this list, you should see that PST file testing. And it comes with the two options, delete items and search folders. But as I've already said, you just create new folder, training, and whatever you want. You can create rules to this. Uh, I've got rules already set up to move certain things to different PST files pending so it doesn't sit in my inbox I just click on pending and it automatically moves it into the relevant um, PST file and I'll just do that for you so I'll create a new one so let's say testing this is testing choose an action so I want to move to a folder choose a folder and uh, I've got to find a folder. So, other folder. It's testing down the bottom there. And then training, that one. Testing, training, OK. So, if I click this, it'll just move it to that. And then finish. So then you've got a button there. So if there's an email in here, I could just click on testing and it, and it would send it into this folder training. Now, if I right click on testing, you can close testing and then it disappears. It's no longer in the list. To get it back, or this is even moving, if you're moving accounts to a different computer, you go file, account settings again account settings data file and then add and then you can see it or you navigate to where you've saved it originally and then you click ok close this down and then it should be back at the bottom like there and if you want you can just add this at the top move this up if you don't want it at the bottom or um, leave it where it is you can also add it to favorites at the top if you wish just drag it up there or you can right click add to favorites and it'll sit at the top. You can also put um, information on there, um, description about what this is all about in properties if you want and you can add a password to it. So if this is on a network, quite often people put a password on a PST file so other people can't attach to it and then see all your emails. And I would recommend you do that if that's the situation you're in. I'm not going to put a password on this, so I'll just cancel that off and cancel that off again. So that's just a quick overview of what a PST file is and what you can do with it and how to create it. So hopefully that has been of use to you and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.